we're going to learn how to organize the parts inside our games. Let's take, for example, I have a bunch of parts here, from here to here. They, they are the metal parts here. So I want to organize them. Instead of having the parts all over the place here, I want to organize them into one folder. I can select all those parts, right click, and group as a folder. So now I have this folder. I can rename the folder metal parts and now if I expand that folder I'm gonna see all the metal parts over here I think I'm missing one part here one metal part here the green one so I'm just gonna select that drag it and drop it into this folder now my folder contains all the metal parts and if I close this folder you can see now it's much neater my workspace is much cleaner Let's say if I change my mind and I want to separate the parts, I can go to my folder and just right click and do an ungroup to ungroup all the parts back to the workspace. On the other hand, let's say if I have something that is like a table or a chair or a house, let's take for example, we have a house, right? And we have like the house has two windows, a door and a roof. We want to group all that into one object that is called a house. So instead of grouping them into a folder, you can select all the objects that form the house and right click and group them as a model. And now you can rename them as a house. To ungroup the model, you can do the same thing. You can right click on the model and ungroup. And I also want to point out you have those options up here in the menu ribbon. So if you want to group using this option up here, just select all your parts, click on group, and it groups it as a model. To ungroup, you have the little arrow here, just do ungroup. And by the way, you have the other option here as well to group as a folder. But now I'm just gonna ungroup. That is how you use group, ungroup, to organize the items inside your games.